deep in the heart of the ominous forest, where twisted trees whispered ancient secrets, and the air held a chilling stillness, stood a secluded house. Its decaying walls creaked and groaned as it burdened by the weight of untold stories. As we approached, the path beneath our feet seemed to shrink, disappearing into the shadows, as if warning us of the horrors that awaited. The moon, veiled by dark clouds, cast a feeble blow upon the path, illuminating the gnarled branches that reached out like skeletal fingers. Each step we took echoed through the forest, filling the silence with an eerie resonance. The sound seemed to awaken unseen creatures, their rustling whispers echoing through the dense underbrush, keeping pace with our hearts' uneasy rhythm. We continued our journey, compelled by an insatiable curiosity and a desire to uncover the mysteries that clung to this place. The air grew colder, biting at our skin like the caress of icy tendrils. An unsettling fog began to slither through the trees, its ethereal presence shrouding the path ahead. It was as if the forest itself was trying to dissuade us from our purpose, urging us to turn back before it was too late. But we pressed on, undeterred, drawn toward the house like moths to a flickering flame. Its silhouette emerged through the mist, a dilapidated structure with shattered windows and a sagging roof. Its paint, once vibrant, had long since peeled away, leaving behind a ghostly reminder of its former grandeur. The front door, withered and warped, beckoned us closer, its hinges groaning in protest as we pushed it open. Inside, the air grew even colder, and a putrid smell assailed our nostrils. The house seemed to pulse with a malevolent energy, each creak and moan echoing through the hallways like tormented souls seeking release. As we explored the abandoned rooms, the walls whispered tales of long-forgotten tragedies. The faded wallpaper, adorned with hauntingly beautiful patterns, seems to writhe and twist right before our eyes. Shadows danced and flickered on the walls, their grotesque forms mocking our presence. In the depths of the house, we discovered a hidden staircase descending into a subterranean darkness. The air grew thick with an ancient, lingering dread as we descended, each step taking us deeper into the heart of the house's secrets. The flickering candlelight we carried barely penetrated the Stygian void, revealing only glimpses of the horrors that lay in wait. Within the hidden catacombs, the air became heavy with the stench of decay. Shadows contorted into grotesque shapes, whispering malevolent incantations that echoed in the recesses of our minds. Eyes glinted into darkness, observing our every move with malignant intent. The spirits of the forest seemed to converge, their spectral forms swarming around us, their icy touch grazing our skin, sending shivers down our spines. We raced back up the stairs, desperate to escape the clutches of the house and the forest, vengeful grasp. As we burst through the front door, we stumbled out into the moonlit clearing, gasping for breath. The forest fell silent once more, as if it sated by our fear, and the house 
retreated into the shadows, its secrets preserved for another time. And so, dear listener, heed this cautionary tale. Never venture into the haunted forest or approach the secluded house, for within its walls lie terrors beyond imagination. Let the tale serve as a chilling reminder that some mysteries are best left undisturbed and some horrors are better left unseen.